Okay, first thing I'm probably going to go through real quick and just label these angles. So every 45 is a pi fourth, which gives us pi fourth, pi halves, pi, three pi fourths, pi, five pi fourths, three pi over two, seven pi fourths, and then two pi. Then we can go a sixth of a pi, which gives us this line is pi six, this line is pi thirds, or two pi six. We then get three pi six, or pi halves. We then get four pi six, which reduces down to two pi thirds. Five pi six, six pi six is just pi. We then get seven pi six, 8 pi 6 is the same as 4 pi thirds. 9 pi 6 is the same as, I'm sorry, not 9. Uh, 9 pi 6 is 3 pi halves, and then 10 pi 6 is 5 pi thirds. Then we get 11 pi 6. Okay, now that I have all my radians labeled, this first point is at 3 pi fourths. So I realize that I'm going to be on this line here. And that's the angle that's been swept out. Then I see that I'm 2. My radius is 2. That puts me on this circle with a radius of 2. So the point is right here in red, 2 comma 3 pi fourths. All right, let's look at the next one. Radius of 3.5. So I'm on this circle here in green halfway between 3 and 4, and my angle is negative 5 pi fourths. Okay, 5 pi fourths is right here, but since I'm going negative, that's actually going to be 3 pi fourths. Interesting. So I'm on the same line, but now I'm up at 3.5. So I get 3.5, negative 5 pi fourths. My last point tells me to go to the angle of 4 pi thirds, which is right here. And it's a radius of negative 1. So that means that I am on this radius of 1 circle, but instead of being on this angle, I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to actually put my point over here. That's a distance of negative 1. So this point here is negative 1, comma, 4 pi thirds. If we wanted to, we could also represent that point as a positive 1, comma, pi thirds. They're the same exact point. And that's how you plot polar coordinates. Hopefully that made sense. Really, you just have to recognize theta and your radius. And do know what to do with a negative theta and also a negative radius. A negative theta just means we're going clockwise instead of counterclockwise. And a negative radius means once you find your angle, you then go in the opposite direction. All right, let's look at coordinate conversion. Let's say we're given a coordinate in polar coordinates. If we're going to convert this into Cartesian, what you have to recognize then is that your x coordinate will equal r times the cosine of theta, because x is your horizontal distance, and your y coordinate will equal r times the sine of theta, because y is your vertical distance. Now, if you're going from Cartesian back to polar coordinates, you need to know this. We kind of discussed it earlier that r squared is x squared plus y squared, which means r is the square root of x squared plus y squared. And that tan of theta, which I showed you above, is going to equal y over x. So to solve for theta, we take tan inverse of y over x. Let's try some problems with conversion. <coughs> 